Number one, even bacteria got quite an advanced immune system. Uh, they can recognize invading viruses and they can actually remember them. Um, and they're not unique, so uh, fruit flies have got a, an impressive immune system, plants have also got quite a sophisticated immune system. And we can learn a lot from these bits of biology and even harness them and uh, use them. For example, gene editing is based on the bacterial immune system. Number two, every tissue and every cell in your body is involved in immunity. So if a virus gets into any cell, the virus can uh, trigger a response in that cell and the cell can help try and fight the virus off and it can send up a, a, a chemical flare to say, help, I'm in trouble, come and fix this for me. Number three, so we tend to think that our immune system only kicks into action when something bad comes along like influenza. But in fact, every day we're getting exposed to bacteria and viruses and yeasts, which we don't normally think of as a problem. But we know that when the immune system isn't working well, for example, if there's an inborn problem or if you're immunosuppressed because of a transplant or because of HIV, then all these bacteria and yeasts and viruses which we think of as relatively harmless become a big problem. Number four, so the genes which control the immune system, the so-called HLA genes, are the most variable genes in the entire body. That means that everybody's immune system is directed slightly differently if we encounter a virus or a vaccine, we'll make a very subtly different response. Number five, so the immune system is made up in such a way that it can respond to all sorts of different things. Of course, when, it, when you're born, you don't know what you're going to be exposed to, but it's designed so that it can be put together and make an immune response against anything, really. Number six, the immune system never forgets. So we've known this for a while now because uh, there was an example in the Faroe Islands where a boat brought in measles in the 1780s. Um, and then uh, there was a big epidemic and then there was no further measles for a while. Another boat brought measles in again in, 18, in the 1840s. And those people who'd survived the first epidemic were completely protected against the new measles outbreak. Number seven, the immune system has co-evolved with infections. So over the course of human evolution, that has shaped the way our immune systems respond to things. It's those have survived because their immune systems are effective. The bugs that we've encountered, the viruses and bacteria, they've also learned to deal with our immune systems, to evade them and survive in the face of the immune systems. And you can see that in the case of HIV, which is relatively new for humans. You can see that evolving in the face of an immune response and mutating to get away from it. Number eight, we have trillions of bacteria in our gut and on our skin, and we also encounter lots of uh, new proteins in our food every day, but we don't want to respond to any of these. So the system is set up to sense danger, something that's dangerous to our body will trigger a set of chemical responses and alert the immune system and really get it going. Number nine, so when you encounter a, a virus or, or another pathogen, a microbe, uh, a series of chemicals are sent around the body uh, and those chemicals induce fever and fatigue and muscle ache and loss of appetite. These are all the things we associate with infection, but actually what they're really doing is they're a chemical sent around the body to set the immune system into gear. Number 10, we can harness the immune system as a cure. So one of the most amazing breakthroughs in modern medicine in recent years has been our ability to turn on the immune system and help cure cancers. And this works even in cases like advanced melanoma where the tumour is, is quite widespread. But if you apply a, a very specific uh, antibody which can target a part of the immune system and basically turn the brakes off, that unleashes the immune system against the cancer and it's a very, very powerful cure.